And we made our first, as always, stop here at lovely eastbound Polk County Afor Rest Ma. I want to hang out some of this because, yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. We didn't go to bed till probably like, well, I didn't fall asleep till about 11. And we got up at 4 a.m. so we could be here. It's, I think, 6 something now. Or no. Gee, what time is it? Let's see, kids. Oh, yeah, 6 30. So, yeah, um, we did have. We had already one hiccup today. Well, it really wasn't like a hiccup, but um, on our way here, we saw two crashes dang near back to back. One of them involved a car on fire. So that was interesting. We didn't see the like actual flame on the car, but yeah, I could definitely smell it and see it. It was, it was not cool. So, nah, fire's not cool. Uh, but yeah, so taking a little bit longer than expected, but not too bad. I mean, I did make sure we left early so we got to parking in a good time to get inside and you guys will see all that fun stuff. But yeah, so we are on our way. Oh, by the way, I said we're, um, this is Nate, uh, oh my gosh, Nate the Great. If you guys check out 21 Pineapples, I've talked about them before. Uh, yeah, I wore one of his shirts. I was debating what to wear today. Um, cause I don't really have any Blues Clues shirts. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear this one because everyone should be a bit, be a good human being today. So yeah got that shirt on today though I do have a my mr. DNA shirt uh, handy as well just in case this one gets too hot because it is a long sleeve shirt so we shall see but yeah so just waiting and then we're gonna so we're on our way to Orange County Convention Center and uh, hope you guys will join me there because it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna see a lot of cool people besides Steve Burt's and guys, yeah, if you ever do come here, I mean, this is the last day for this year, but if you ever here next year, definitely follow all the signs because there is so many signs. There's so much going on, but welcome to the Orange County Convention Center, the weird giant clamshell thingies. Uh, so yeah, I do get it. Got to pull up our prepaid thing. Uh, okay. So lot one keeps straight. Okay. Cause yeah, I got lot one parking cause yes, please. So we're gonna head in there and uh, have fun. Oh, All right, guys. So we are in we're prepaid. <laughs> Maybe. We got it. Oh, I probably should have gone down that way a little bit farther. Say whoopsie. Yeah. Still trying to figure all this stuff out. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. they don't. Exactly, have it all, you know. Yeah, I think we need to go, we should have gone straight, which is where everyone else is, yeah. Let's follow the U-Haul again, yay! We're just gonna keep following the U-Haul. Yeah, to the down there. Holes. Yeah. I mean, I'm just wondering, like, are these vendors, or are these people who are about to, know they're about to buy a shit ton We're of stuff? We're out of, in. It's fine. I'm gonna go straight. Yeah, I think, yeah, we wanted to go down here. I don't know. <sighs> oh, guys. Same. Please, people. Signs, signs. You can do fucking signs. Oh, wait. No, we're yeah. not. Uh, there we go. All right. But this is... Yes, parking. Is. Straight. Yes. It's just we went on the other side. These cones. I don't... I mean, I'd say... Well, probably should just turn it right in there. And the advantages with getting here early and also on the last day, which a lot of people... I mean, y'all, this is it. We're like one of the first few people in here. We are in S1 because, well... There's the convention center right there. It, we, we're literally right here. Very nice. So we'll get in, go to potty, and get in line for our first panel probably. Okay, here we go, guys. So we, they were not very helpful with directing traffic. So we probably should have parked over here, but that is okay. But here we are, the lovely line to get inside. So I know concourse over that way, south is over right there. So we're in. Join this lovely line of people and have fun. Yes, I love it. My dog. Who's oh, Yoda? Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, she got chicken. She's chicken. All right, guys, one of the fun things is once you do get your badge, you do have to activate it, which is very annoying. And there's, yeah, QR codes there, or you can just use the website on the back but if you toil like everyone like sucks having to stand here and activate and figure it out if you're not that technologically fun you may have some issues so yeah this is not the the, the, the best idea for them to have done but 
Eh, it works. So, so far, we all just, just got in, got our badges activated and everything like that. These people are already hilarious. Um, we came in, she's like, you know, general mission, follow the screaming man. You can probably hear him behind me. But then she was like, oh, since mom's got her wheels, she's like, come over here by the curtain. I was like, okay. So they were already having fun. She's like, they said, you know, if you can see, if I can see concrete between you, then, you know, you know, close the gap. That means you. I'm like, ooh. Close the gap or you'll get run over. <laughs> yeah. We had shown us, yeah, like, get over there because you might get trampled. I was like, I understood. I don't know where's the front, what's the back. <laughs> I'm going to say that's the front, so sit back here. Good to me. Yeah, so we're going to hang out with our peoples and get going. And there's the beginning of the fun right there. North that way, south that way. Nori. Yeah. Gonna get a panel at 10.30. So Prince probably head in, find the panel section, done. Time for the insanity to begin. And we're in. Alright. So Honestly, I kind of want to just find our way to the, the panel area. But I also kind of want to go ahead and see the celebrity area too. All right, guys, just an FYI. And we, we, we made a mistake. We were going to stop at breakfast. And I was like, no, let's just head on in. And I totally forgot. But yeah, we got two hot dogs and two drinks. It's 20 freaking dollars. Six dollars, six fifty for the hot dog and four dollars for the drink. Just remember guys, cons are expensive. Very, very expensive. So if you guys uh, wanna click the link down below, the, the buy me a pizza, uh, if you guys wanna click that and contribute to my con fund, uh, I would not cry. And who knows, next time I can shout you out with this or at Universal now has the name on the bottle again. So uh, yeah. Anyway guys, I'm gonna eat and then head out to our first panel. All right, so we actually went 320 over that way for John's panel and then I come back over here for Steve's but here we guys we are in the panel floor now and yeah there's the big sign you flip that you can read it <laughs> or if you're lucky like us dyslexic people I can read it no matter what uh, I can read upside down too which is very weird but I guess we're heading in I love this carpet it is very weird but very cool I guess kind of funny you guys can see the, the Orlando Eye as I call it, Icon Park, Ferris Wheel, and there's Top Goal. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, like, there's this. And, all right. All right, so we are getting ready for the John Cleese panel. So, for the five of you who don't know who John Cleese is, uh, for you under 50 year olds, he was nearly headless snake. For those of you over 50, uh, Monty Python, uh, Faulty Towers, Fish Called Wanda. IMDb linked it down below if you guys really don't know. But yeah, most of you probably know him as nearly headless snake. That's, for the it's weird actually, because I grew up with, because this one got me hooked up on Monty Python. That's oddly enough the first place where I thought. And I was like, oh yeah, he was also nearly had the snake. Uh, so who is, nearly decapitated on my birthday isn't it yeah. or was the, the part yeah so yeah so there's that but yeah so we're gonna check his panel and then i said we're probably gonna kill some time and then get ready to watch go to steve's panel and then pretty much get in line and get his autograph and then who knows from there but uh yeah so uh let's get ready to watch this lovely panel All right, so just finished John Cleese's panel. And I'm heading over to, I don't know why I'm about to say a different name, Steve's panel, and it's weird. I've been okay, but also now that we've walked out of that one and I know that Steve's next, I am absolutely freaking out right now. And I don't even know why. But uh, yeah, so uh, I guess we're heading in already, but I don't know where my mother is. So I gotta figure out where she went so I can get inside this panel. Today he joins us to discuss his career as well as the role that made him a 
friend to an entire generation as the first human host of Blue's Clues for several seasons and has returned to the series in front and behind the camera, during which the whole time he never forgot you. That's right, Megan Hunt 2023, please welcome Mr. Steve Burns. Done, well, I'm always having a done fan girling, but I'm not. Uh, still got to go over to his pan or to his booth. But until then, we're actually waiting for the elevator, and uh, we just were up here fan, you know, like just people watching, which is terrifying for me with vertigo and heights issue. But if I'm just like staring at one particular spot, I'm not so bad. But if I look anywhere that looks straight down, I may vomit, which has almost happened a couple times already because nervous energy be that. But I saw everyone like seeing a lot of people wearing Descendants outfits, which is, I'm very happy that people actually know what the heck Descendants is. Oh, uh, just stinking cool. But there's like all kinds of interesting costumes here. Golden Enchanted Princess. <clears throat> this is fun, guys. Shout out any cosplays you guys recognize. Oh, there's a Scooby wearing blue. Scooby wearing blue, that's just not right. That ain't right. That's just too much dog in one spot. That's an amigo. There's Ursula. I saw her earlier. And Inspector Gadget. Y'all. 90s. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my. And there's the, the boys, the brothers that asked him a question. Yeah, there. By the way, guys, I didn't film any of his. I probably could have, but I, I didn't want to really film like the whole thing because I, as a lot of us have talked about, and Charles has talked about a lot, I wanted to be, I wanted to be in the moment. I wanted to, you know, focus on him, not focus on my phone. And by the way, it worked out because we made eye contact a lot of times, which is really cool. Oh, creepy bunny. Okay, hi, creepy bunny. You gonna ignore the T-Rex? I've seen a hundred thousand inflatable T-Rexes. That's the first one today. And I got SpongeBob. It's probably something else, but it looks like SpongeBob. So I'm calling it SpongeBob. <sighs> and because it is the last day of the con, there is, of course, a lot of just mundanes and stuff like that, but. Oh, there's another person dressed as Steve. Oh, he's wearing, oh, like a blue attached t-shirt. All right, so we've made it into Cosplay Alley and these, uh, well, these are the cosplayers. And then the celebrity tables are over here, which reminds me I need to do all that. But, wow, it is uh, crazy over here. Yeah, this is just the cosplayers section. Insane. We need to go that way. All right, guys. So um, because the line is insane, I'll show you the line in a minute. Um, I said I'm going to jump in and go and get my autograph now if I can. Uh, oh my god, that was amazing. And um, yeah, I actually ended up showing him that I've got his CD. So that means he knows uh, I got it. But pretty much have him sign it, hand over the stuff, and probably have to leave right after because I keep this line moving. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, I was wrong. I thought most of the YouTubers I follow have already been here, but yeah, in the yellow shirt there is out of the woo. And I know the guy in the black, but hey, I finally he's somebody I know. Yay!
right, guys. So we are at the. He just started his. Oh, well, about 20 minutes into his photo op, so we're all just kind of chilling on the floor, just waiting for him to come back. So nap time. Um, I was over here a little bit talking to her, but uh, almost there. It's almost there. It's so much fun. No, Zachary Levi, boy of Shazam, voice of of Errol or Flynn from. A tangled is right over there like cute little Jewish boy I mean come on now it's my second choice right there he's still number one Oh my god, there it is. Oh, look, excuse me, got the, the, the paw print on the rainbow there. It works. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, so after getting the autograph, went, got some food, didn't vlog it because I ended up actually talking to somebody who were fellow attraction share workers. But I wanted to come over here, see how Steve was doing before I left him, and for who knows how long before I'll see him again. So we're gonna come over and see him one last time. And oh, Charlie Hunt, I'm still here as well. All right. <laughs> yeah. Two hot dudes. All right. Yeah. Better come over here and see how he's doing and for leaving him. Yeah. Dang, he's so cute. That looks like a fun thing to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. This being in charge of pulling up the, the teeth. This kid was so much fun handing these out. Yeah. There's so many. Throughout our, our line, there was everywhere. <sighs> it is. All right, guys, if you ever wonder how they take all this tape out, they're having fun. I, 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 I wait for him to start ho hopscotching and like, or she's just having, good, she's having a ball, literally. Ha! <laughs> She's making a ball. She's making a ball. Sorry, this is just so entertaining. I love this. <laughs> this is so cool. But I went to, you know. Wow, oh, name ran on the street. Oh my god. I know this car. <laughs> um, yeah. Ricky Bobby car. <laughs> Yeah, but the three. I know. Yeah. The Earnhardt's been involved with that car. That's the paint job I want. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I saw one of those in, in CMA's garage one time. See, you can't see much on this side, but no. the sun hits it. Oh my. All right, guys, so we are heading out. Um, just up, I talked to some of the vendors. Actually, we're getting some ideas of what to do for Tampa Bay Comic Con. Um, but now we're heading to the car. So anyway, guys, so um, heading home. 
Well, yeah, we're probably heading home. Might do a couple of stops along the way, but heading back to the car and who knows? Because I had a good time seeing Steven. That's why it was like watching, like watching him um, wrapping up the last few autographs. It's pretty cool. We good seeing him. One of these things just oh, no, doesn't belong. Yeah, it's every two. Two plain, one fancy. Two yeah. Plain, one fancy. Yeah, so guys, we're going to head home and, you know, hopefully Steve reads his letter. Not, oh well. If he does, cool. I know he got a lot of different gifts today, so that was a lot of fun for him, I'm sure. But on to the next con. I wish I could have, like, filmed a lot more of the con, but... Yeah, I was spent two hours of it, just or like two and a half hours in his line. So, yeah, that took a while. But let's go home. All right, guys, since I wasn't able to really give you a full con uh, tour, um, I'll get any kind of footage she might, my mom might have gotten while I was waiting in line for Steve. Uh, but I don't know if this box is one of the things she got while I was in line, but I wanted to kind of do like a haul video for you guys. So this is the freebie lanyard that they gave us uh, when you first come in. It's just your basic blah lanyard. Uh, I figured I'd just get that because I was going to actually pack one of my lanyards and forgot. It was early. In case you knows, it was early. So um, I did forget one of my lanyards. So go in there. But then over at the NASA booth. Uh, thanks to Jackie Super Enthused, I knew about these. So mom did go over to the NASA booth and got these Artemis One lanyard. So it's funny, I ended up switching out to this one. But you might notice that my pass is not attached to this one. Because then also, um, I saw this in, I think it was also Jackie's video. And, and a couple other thing on their Facebook page as well. And I was like, oh my gosh, this box is cool. And one of the girls, or one of the ladies in line, had this box. And I was like, how much was it? And she's like, oh, it was, I'm not going to say. But she said there was only, like, two left. So I was like, mom happened to stop by. And I was like, go, I don't know what booth it is. Because, well, I've been stuck here waiting for Steve. But go find this. See if they've got any more left. So, uh, obviously, got the last one. She said literally pulled it off the top shelf. So we got the last one. So I'm going to show you guys. I have already looked through here. Because, well, lanyard. Uh, so I figured show you guys what comes in this lovely Blue's Clues box. Now, I don't know if, like, the vendor made this themselves. Or, like, if they order them this way, which they do. I want to find out more about this. Uh, but there's some really cool stuff. Definitely got money's worth in here. So let's start with... The lanyard. Uh, yeah, it's a cute little blue lanyard with blue on it. She's so cute. I mean, of course she is. But yes, and <laughs> immediately added our lanyard. So there is the 2023 Sunday only uh, pass there. And there's the back. You guys kind of get a little information. I mean, the activation codes are not valid anymore. So you're good there. I'm not worried about you using it or anything, but... So there's that. So then inside, oh, I've got to get all this plastic off of here because, ew. But there is a blue squeaker toy. And yes, she had to squeeze her head for it. And I think that's kind of sad. But yes, we got a blue clues, blue squeaker plush. And Zin. Oh, I didn't mean to do with a uh, French accent, but Mr. Salt, I mean, Mrs. Pepper and Mr. Salt wallet. Let me open this for you guys. So, basic wallet, place for cards, ID. Does anybody even use wallets like this anymore? It doesn't even have a change pocket, but it says, yeah, uh, Mr. Salt and Mrs. Pepper. Uh, Mr. Salt, who <laughs> we found out today, and actually something I did already know previously, but Steve's favorite character. So, like, the other befuddled, you know, clueless man in the house. So, yes, we got a Bruce Clues wallet. And then this bag. Oh, which, nothing. Let's open it and actually explore what all this bag does. So, it's very, like, leathery texture. 
So it's got this little front pocket here. So it goes all the way down, not bad. Cute. Let's see what's in here. This paper! Let's get that out of here. So, classic. Oh, it looks like it even has a little zipper pouch back there. But, nice little, like, probably like, good tablet, backpack, purse. Might end up making this, um, because we do have a tablet that we use for con merch. So, this might just be my, uh, new tablet carrier. I mean, look at her. She's so cute. And then we have... And we have this bag, which is super cute. And I also love the fact that it's got the green on the striped shirts. And a lot of green for Steve rather than it being, you know, for Josh. Yes, because they know, as OGers, we, uh, we're only here for Steve. Because we're only here for Steve. Oh, it's got a little pouch in the pouchy pouch. Cute! So, yeah. And then... Cool. There's the paper thing for the lanyard. But guys, the best thing that I got, well, I already had the item, but I already kind of showed you guys some pictures, but I wanted to make it official, show you guys my autograph. Oh yeah, it definitely like smeared a little bit. So he's like, oh, that was not my best signature. I'm like, that is okay. I'm okay with that. Well, there it is. He signed his album. So this is very cool. And yes, by the way, you guys want to check out for everywhere if you got Apple Music. Um, it is available on Apple Music and also his other album, Songs for Dust Mites. Uh, if I can, I'll link them down below. Little heart and will paw print. But yep, there it is. So guys, yeah, I had fun. Didn't get to really tour around the con. Uh, there was a couple of the panels I wanted to go see because uh, I had like a friend of Chris, the girl on Tampa J, uh, Mark Muncy was there, but I don't like to see him. But honestly, uh, as I kept saying, like, I'm only here to see Steve. And I got to see Steve and talk to him and give him a gift and get him to sign this. And uh, mission accomplished. So I definitely got what I set out to do. Still had fun talking to the people around me as we were hanging out in line for about two and a half hours. Wasn't too bad. Uh, and then that time was also him taking a break, which you guys probably saw already. But anyway, guys, so uh, yeah, have fun at MegaCon Orlando. Uh, the next big thing you guys will see, uh, I'm probably on maybe like some small Universal videos, you know, the monthly stuff. But we do have Tampa Bay Comic Con coming up. I don't think I've officially announced that yet. I might have. Uh, yes, uh, our, you know, business, our, our, our con business uh will be at tampa bay comic con uh so definitely if you are in the area come check us out uh i will link tampa bay comic con down below if you get your tickets but yes we will be there every day with the table selling our goods and stuff so i uh, hope to see you guys there if you're local if not uh, i'll link our website down below we don't have anything on it just yet but we are getting there uh come summer we will have hopefully some stuff up and running we'll see um, but I will talk to you guys later. Oh, by the way, be a good human. This was a hot shirt today. Everyone was like, oh my God, I love your shirt. 21 pineapples, guys. 21 pineapples. But anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Probably a food video. Anyway, love. Peace. Bye.